M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So Moonraker UK sell the MRP2000 Mark II scanner amplifier and it comes in this sort of plastic case here and it's got specifications on the back. It does actually have, hold an internal nine volt battery. Uh, so that's quite easy, just take the screws off. We'll have a look in a sec and you can put that in. So it's a very portable unit or you can just power it. Uh, and this fits most of my most of my ham radio connectors that I use uh, are this size connector. One like this, look, and just it's on off there. Look. But otherwise, get to battery. It does come with a BNC cable here. You've got my one two five in the background, which is a very popular analog scanner, but it will work on a digital scanner, I think. Uh, we'll test that as well. Anyway, for now, let's put on the connector they've given us. Now it says here radio and a plus gain of 6 to 20 dB, so that's pretty good. Antenna on the other side, I'll just show you four screws here. I think it's these four to get the battery in, like so. So let's get the antenna on there. And then we'll connect the BNC connector as well take off the well we'll test it without first and we'll find something that's weak and then we'll uh, see what difference it makes now the first thing someone is going to say when they see a, a receiver preamp and it is receive only the first thing they're going to say is well it brings in all the bad stuff as well and yeah maybe it does but let's uh, we're just going to test it and and just see if we like it so we just look here we've got my scanner scanning away uh, we'll go scan, we'll go F, we'll press hold and we'll type in the, the Bristol Airport, uh, so I think it's the weather channel, so we'll go 126.0250. You press hold on this. Let's uh, turn up the volume and turn down the squelch by pressing F, down on the volume button, there's your squelch, press again, press again, look, volume. See if we can, just, let's just, I'm just going to take it outside and check that that is the right channel. Yeah, and I'm near Bristol Airport, so the next thing is take the BNC off. And I could hear it, when I went outside, I could hear a weak signal coming into the scanner. So, let's grab this BNC. Now, the power is not connected at the moment to, this, to the uh, amplifier. Let's just get that on there. So, it'll just be the external antenna at first. So, I can't really hear much. Right, I can just hear it faintly. Let's, let's put the power to it and see what difference it makes. Power going in. And then on. There you are. Well, it did help. Let's try a, a ham repeater. Let's try. Um, let's go one four five dot six hundred. Then you press hold. Uh, typical. No one's talking at the moment. Turn it off. Off. Then on. I'll see if I can find a weak signal. Let's flick down the ham bands. Might get lucky. Turn up the squelch. And then we'll tell it to search. Oh, there's someone. Let's hold that. Someone there on a repeater. And remember, it's receive only. I can't talk back on this device. Well, that's a shame. We had, we did have something there, but uh, they stopped speaking. There you go. That's off. That's on. Now let's try it with. I'll take off. 
the antenna and just literally just put the antenna direct to it. Let's see what that what that does. Hopefully. So that's no amplifier. More talking, please. So it's really hard to say. I mean, there's an aircraft coming in there with no amplifier. And let's put the amplifier on. Put the amplifier back on. Power's on. Scanning downwards. Off. When you hear something, you press hold. You can save it by pressing, I think it's this button here. Yeah, you can save it. Look, you save it to it, press enter. Find the channel you want to save it to, MT1, press enter again, and you can name it if you want. I'm not going to name it at the moment. Can we go exit from that? Exit, down. Let's keep scanning. Take off, the, press, unpress the hold. Scanning down. Oh, that's a that's a weak one. So we've held it there. Amps on. You can hear that that sort of strength. Now we'll go direct antenna. Right. So I've completely disconnected the the unit. Exactly the same frequency. Let's see if we hear anything. Well, there is a weak signal there. See how weak that is? Now we'll put the amp back on. So the amp's back on. That's off. That's power off. Power on. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a hard one. I need more time to sort of decide. It's definitely amplifying. Take the hold off. Squelch F, then F, push down, squelch up because it's a bit, it won't scan with the squelch low. So yeah, give it a go. I think it's okay. I think, you know, it's as good as the setup really. The uh, the fact that you can put a battery in is good. So last thing, just to end the video, let's just quickly have a look where the battery goes and then we'll end the video. And in the instructions, it does say if you do use a battery, do not plug in a, a power supply into, into here, look. So we're just gonna take these four screws off. I think it, it would have been better to do the screws, you know, in a way where you didn't need a screwdriver, if that makes any sense. But I'm not really sure how long, with, with a preamp, how long would a battery last? Obviously turning the device off whenever you're not using it is quite an important way of making the battery last longer. Why get a scanner? You say, well, why not? You know, we're, we're hobby enthusiasts. We like listening and chatting to our friends, but we like listening to everything because we like using radio devices. And so that's why. So I've undone those four. Is it top and bottom? It might be where the thing lifts apart, do you know what I mean? The bottom lifts away. So let's take the other four screws off and we'll soon find out. Yeah, so you can lift the top off or the bottom. I would think if you're going to put a battery in there with all this circuitry, you do need to put the battery, if you ask me, either underneath underneath so that the it can't touch the circuitry but then I, I still think that you would want to cover the battery so it can't short anything out look you've got components here so and so that's all I would say but otherwise it does just lift off I'd stay in camera shot don't I so thanks for watching my channel while I tinker around putting this back together like so. I literally doing everything live. Tend to do that.
Thanks for watching my channel. Let me know your recommendations. Bye for now, 7-3. Please like and subscribe. All the best.